Well, hey, everybody. Uh, as I said, this is Linda from CT RIA. I have uh, Joanne and Lou on the phone. Joanne, are you there? Yes, I am. <clears throat> yes, hey. I am. Yep. So, uh, this, to me, is an historic call because I have, as Jeff and, <laughs> Jeff and I were just talking, um, I've been part of Masterminds for at least 10 years. And I, I'm sure a lot of you have been part of Masterminds informally, if not formally. And I just think that it's uh, just like when Think and Grow Rich was written. It was written by uh, it was written by Napoleon Hill, and uh, he was one of the first people to coin the phrase of mastermind. And I sent out a copy of the book Think and Grow Rich to you, uh, and hopefully you received it, or maybe you have a hard copy of it. You can go to chapter ten in the uh, that's the chapter that I'm going to be talking about here. Um, in the version I sent to you, we'll be looking at chapters two, uh, pages 212 to 220. But uh, it's coincidentally, I was flipping through the channels on Sunday, and I was on the History Channel, H2 channel, and they had two two-hour movies back-to-back about the, uh, the men who changed America. And it was from ever since from the Civil War up to Henry Ford's time. And it talks about all the people that Napoleon Hill talks about. If you get a chance to watch those movies, I really recommend it because you'll understand the mindset of these guys in a whole different way than I can present here in this short period of time. But here's what happened back then. Over 100 years ago, the story was that Napoleon Hill was looking for a job, and he was hired, uh, but he wasn't going to be paid. And the idea was that he was going to be connected to all these movers and shakers of America (laughs) and was going to be hand-introduced to them, but he would go out and interview them and then capture what was their key to success. And the, pretty thing, that, the thing that was really interesting about the turn of the century was that it, was, it represented massive, massive, massive growth in America, from uh, kerosene into ca- gasoline, into electricity. I mean, there was ho- this whole thing, whether AC or DC was going to be the standard, just like for those of us who remember, was it going to be beta tapes or VH? VH tapes are going to be the ones. So, uh, so that was decided. Uh, the railroad connected the East Coast to the West Coast, and it spurred on this huge amount of growth, right? So I feel that in America right now, we have this opportunity. We faced a huge crash that happened in 2008, and many of us got hurt by that, and many of us actually made more money than we had ever done before. But between that and between the uh, inventions of the Internet, particularly what things like Google and Amazon and Facebook are doing right now, there's huge opportunity for each and every one of us to massively benefit from this uh, growth. But on the other hand, we can also massively lose out on the opportunity here if we don't connect ourselves with the right people. And I've seen it happen over and over again. So I wanted to share with you my insights about masterminding, and you may want to take notes, um, but a lot of this comes right out of Think and Grow Rich. So, And if you'd like to, uh, as I said, you could send comments uh, in the little chat box there, and um, and, uh, also you could send an email if you want to to me, Linda, at CTRIA, and we'll get to those toward the end. So masterminding is not something casual. The master, and this is why I'm saying the mastermind at the turn of the last century changed the fortunes of those who participated. J.P. Morgan, Carnegie, they even bought the presidency. <laughs> President McKinley was bought because they didn't want this other guy to win. And then when McKinley was assassinated, that's when Teddy Roosevelt became president, and that was the exact person they did not want to win the presidency. So it's very, all this is intriguing, but when you look at the powers behind the power, it's still going on today. And we want, in our own little world of real estate here in New England, we want to be the inner circle. That's my hope for all of us. The mastermind ought to change the character and fortune of this country. So think of these people, J.P. Morgan, Carnegie, Rockefeller, Edison, Ford. Think how much each and every one of these men shifted the fortunes of America. So in the book, they talk about power. The definition of power is essential for success in the accumulation of money. And that plans, you know those plans, those to-do lists that you create, plans are inert and useless without power to translate them into action. 
And we've often referred to that, like the students that have taken massive action are the ones who are making money. So that's what we're going to be talking about here. So a definition of power is organized and intelligently directed knowledge. Oops. One second here. Intelligently directed knowledge. Somebody just joined on here. Uh, so, yeah, just keep muting yourself out as you join. That'd be fabulous. <laughs> so you can be part of this thing. Um, so pa power is organized and intelligently directed knowledge. Right? Power is organized effort that transmutes desire into money. Transmute is an old-fashioned word, but it's basically transforming effort into money. Okay. Now, really, power is required for the accumulation of money. It's also required for the retention of money. Okay, so again, power is organized and intelligently directed knowledge, and power is necessary for accumulating and retaining money. So there's three ways of getting knowledge. One is infinite intelligence. That's um, just whatever's out there, whatever comes to you, um, experiencing life, things like that. Then there's accumulated experience. That's your life experience, but it's also all the knowledge of the world that's in the library or in schools, or even in Google, because how many of us Google every single day to find whatever we need? Now, you have to be careful, because some of that stuff is not exactly accurate, but we do use those things. But think about that. Um, everything, this is the accumulated experience is what we know that we know, right? And then there's experimenting and researching, which is you know, primarily in science, but it's also called the school of hard knocks, right? So you can either learn how to renovate a house in the right way, you can learn how to screen for tenants in the right way, or you can experiment and do the uh, school of hard knocks, right? So those are kind of the three methods of acquiring knowledge, which is important for power. But again, there is no power, really. There's no results without action. So... Acquired knowledge comes from these three resources, and from these you create your plans and you take your action. So plans plus action equal power. So we've been saying this is nothing new because we say this week in and week out to you, but plans plus action equals power. It's kind of a simple thing. The challenge about this is it takes too freaking long to acquire all this stuff. <laughs> so what's the solution? I say it's the mastermind. And here's what's interesting I just discovered when I was reading the book again. Mastermind is in two words. Not, we now use it as one word, mastermind. But take it apart as two words, mastermind. So let's talk about what that means. So um, the mastermind coordinates knowledge and effort in a spirit of harmony. That's very important, spirit of harmony between two or more people for the attainment of a definite purpose. So let's just look at that for a moment. So we're, we're proposing having a mastermind called the Titanium Mastermind, which will be a coordination of knowledge and effort of no more than 20 people that have experience and success in real estate in a spirit of harmony. In other words, we're going to contribute to each other. We're going to share what's working for us. We're also going to be really honest and say, man, I have hassles and challenges and issues with this, 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 and this. Between, like you said, two or more people, obviously we want to have it about 20 people, for the attainment of a definite purpose, which I would say is making a heck of a lot of money and dominating the real estate market right here locally, especially in Connecticut, but throughout New England. That's the purpose of this mastermind. Think about this. This is really brilliant. No two minds ever come together without thereby creating a third invisible, intangible force, which may be likened to a third mind. Now, those of us who are Jewish have heard this phrase a lot before, two Jews, three opinions. <laughs> That's a joke. But this is that kind of thing. When you put people together, something bigger and beyond what those two or three or 20 individuals come up with, you come up with a whole new reality. So prior to this call, Jeff was saying how he was part of a mastermind, and they created within a year commissions of $750,000. $750,000. Think about that. So 
uh, and that came from masterminding with each other. So Andrew Carnegie uh, was one of the first people that Napoleon Hill knew that coined this phrase of mastermind, and this consisted of a staff of approximately 50 men. They didn't hire women back then, but 50 men for the definite purpose of manufacturing and marketing steel. He was the biggest producer of steel, and he ended up selling it to J.P. Morgan and became the richest man ever, 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 <laughs> beyond what we currently have today um, from creating that whole business. Pretty amazing, right? So think about that, and that came from a mastermind. Now think about this also. A group of electric batteries obviously produces more energy than a single battery. Well, that makes sense. That's, that's pretty simple. So likewise, the brain works the same way. You have a group of brains, a group of people, coordinated or connected in a spirit of harmony. In other words, we only want to hang out with fun people, people that are optimistic, people that want to make things happen, think, people that are willing to think outside the nine dots, be, be creative and yet be ethical, and, be, uh, and then share our resources, share our challenges, so that uh, we will create something more than a single brain will create. That is our purpose right here. So Henry Ford, you may not know this, but he was well known that Henry Ford began his business career under the handicap of poverty, illiteracy, and ignorance. It's equally well known that within a short period of 10 years, he mastered these three handicaps, and then within 25 years, he made himself one of the richest men in America. Through the assistance of his mastermind group, Henry Ford had at his command all the specialized knowledge he needed to enable him to become one of the wealthiest men in America. It was not essential that he had this knowledge in his own mind. That's really important. It was not essential that he have this knowledge in his own mind. This is the best example of this, of what Henry Ford did. They, uh, uh, the government decided to sue him, right, for something or other. And uh, the reporters, uh, and so the attorneys were firing all these different questions because they were saying that Henry really didn't know what he was talking about. And they asked him question after question after question after question until Henry finally said this, if I should really want to answer the foolish question you have just asked me or any of the other questions you've been asking me, let me remind you that I have a row of electric push buttons on my desk, and by pushing the right button, I can summon to my aid men who can answer any question I desire to ask concerning the business to which I am devoting most of my efforts. <laughs> now, will you kindly tell me why I should clutter up my mind with general knowledge for the purpose of being able to answer questions when I have men around me who can supply any knowledge I require? Now, think about that. Don't you already have people that you, for example, you may not know how to, you know, wire up your house to put in a, 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 you know, an owner's meter, but you can call up an electrician to do it. You don't need to know that, right? So where else are you depending on yourself when if you had a group of people that you could pick up the phone and call them and ask them and depend on their specialized knowledge that you would be successful? So this quote, by the way, and the whole story is in Chapter 5, which is on specialized knowledge, okay? Just think about that, though, for a moment. The other thing that they say in this Mastermind chapter is that wealth is like a river. Money flows to the one who accumulates it as easily as water flows downhill. Now, with power, money flows to wealth. But on the other hand, on the other side, it flows in the opposite direction, carrying others to poverty. So think about it. Why are some people extraordinarily wealthy and other people that we know in our life that are extremely impoverished? Why? What is the secret behind that? What, what can shift that tide on there? And the other thing is, is that many of us undergo the experience of alternating between positive and negative sides of the stream. So one day you're rich, one day you're negative. So think about this and look at your own life. So remember the recent crash? How many of you lost a lot of money in that crash? How many of you are still trying to catch up with it? Some of you may have foreclosed on a house. Some of you may still be struggling. Maybe you've had some real estate deals that have done really, really well. But you've also had others that have lost you money. Are you rich one month and poor the next? Similarly with time, are you working 60 hours to get ahead? 
Are you trying to figure out what to focus in on? Because so many times as a sole entrepreneur, first we're running around marketing to find a deal. Now we got the deal, so now we're focused on rehabbing it. Okay, we finished rehabbing it. Now we're focused on selling it or getting the tenants. Okay, but now we don't have another paycheck coming in because we stopped marketing. So are you having challenges and issues with managing your time so that you can have monthly money coming in, month in and month out? Are you real estate rich but cash poor? You have like a ton of money. I just talked to someone the other day. They need a $100,000 stat. But they have tons of equity locked up in their real estate. How do, you un- how do you unlock that equity and make it work for you? Do you have residual income to carry you through month in and month out? Are you, do you have enough systems in place? Because maybe you have 40, 100, 150 real estate units, but you don't have systems to manage them, and then soon the maintenance is going to get out of hand or the tenants are going to get out of hand because you don't have systems in place. Are you at the place where you are rehabbing or wholesaling tons and tons of properties, and yet you've got really nothing to show for it at the end of the year? You've got a really high-paying job, right? But you don't have residual income coming in. You're at the highest tax bracket possible. Is there a way for you to shift what you're doing so that you can take advantage of a couple of different strategies in real estate. And then Joanne and I were meeting with, uh, with an expert that we need an expert on something around business, and he was telling us about somebody that built their entire organization on wholesaling real estate, and then when the crash happened, they got caught with their pants down. So are you able to identify the economic mar- markers that are changing each and every day so that you can take advantage of new opportunities and yet see that, hey, there's a problem coming up. Let me take advantage of that. Let me figure out that problem. Let me solve that problem. Maybe sell these properties off. Maybe uh, ne- renegotiate uh, terms or something so that you don't get caught. <laughs> that is really, really important. So right now, just take a moment. What are the challenges that you're dealing with right now? Nobody's looking at your piece of paper. So go ahead and be honest with yourself. What's stressing you out right now? What's keeping you awake late at night? And if you don't think, if you don't see anything, then maybe you're oblivious and maybe that's even more dangerous. I'm not here to be a naysayer, but every entrepreneur really needs to be honest with themselves. What are the issues? What are the problems that you're dealing with? And then the next thing is, What are the opportunities that you know already that you're missing out on because you just don't have time or you just don't have enough money or you just don't have the right connections? So write down a couple of the opportunities that you would love to take advantage of, but you really just don't know how to get from here to there. So go ahead and write that down. And then do you have a plan and an action plan so that you can take advantage uh, and accumulate that power? Do you have the power to make things happen? So again, in the mastermind, we're going to coordinate everybody's knowledge. We're going to coordinate everybody's effort. In the spirit of harmony, between two or more people, we're targeting for 20, for the attainment of a definite purpose. Now, this does not mean that we're all going to work on each other's deals. This does not mean that we're going to be partners. This does not mean that we're going to become lenders to each other, although that might happen, right? It could happen, but that's not the real purpose of this. The real purpose of it is that each and every person gets to share their, the strategies that are really working for them as well as the challenges, the problems, the issues that are blocking it. You know, uh, Joanne and I, one of our favorite mentors is Brian Tracy. And when I was a salesperson, I was reading, I was watching his book, I think it was on time management or sales. I forget which one it was. And what they said was, uh, what what he said is, what is the limiting factor? What is the limiting factor to your explosion? For me, it was setting enough appointments every single week when I was an insurance agent, right? It was how do I get all these – I had to have 10 to 15 appointments a week so I could have four sales a week, and that was what I had to do. 
And my limiting factor was I had no clue what to say to people when I picked up the phone and I called them. What, what was I supposed to say? Because normally most salespeople say, hi, my name is so-and-so. I'm from so-and-so company. Am I talking to the owner? And halfway through that, they've already hung up on you. So when I discovered the script, and it was only about 10 words, and all of a sudden I went from 90% clicks to 90% people listening to me and saying something so that I could get a conversation going. And as soon as I figured out that script and it was one little shift, my business, I went from being mediocre to one of the top reps in a nationwide company. So what is your limiting factor? Well, it's hard to see it by yourself, but when you have a mastermind, a group of people working together on this, it can all happen. So here's a question for you. Do you need to know all of this yourself? Do you really need to know all of this yourself? Think about this. Wholesaling, rehabbing, negotiating, managing tenants, managing your properties, finding private money, buying notes, owner financing, no money down strategies. The list gets huge. Now, a lot of us are experts in one or two or three of these, and we would like to know more, but, but do you need to know all of this yourself? Do you need to know time management, money management, how to staff your business, how to break out of your comfort zone, and how to develop connections with people in high places? So this is what we're offering. It's called the Titanium Mastermind Program. So imagine this. What if you could connect with someone who already know, kn knows what you need to know? What if you could reach out and touch someone and brainstorm on your issues, your cash flow issues, tenant issues, rehab problems, funding issues? What if you could just pick up the phone, reach out and talk to somebody and get a group of people who are committed to your success and help you work this out? What if you could connect to someone who could connect you with the decision maker at the bank or at the city government? Or, as an example, somebody called me up today. She just got a short sale approved. She needs a fund. Her private lender backed out. She needs funding, like, right now. And I put her in connection with a potential buyer. What if you had that connection? Imagine 20 people knowing at least 100 people. You've just, ex you've just exploded your circle of influence, right? And then what if you could brainstorm on upcoming economic opportunities so you could take advantage of them? What if? What would this be worth to you? Would this be life-changing for you, life-altering for you and your family and your children and your grandchildren, or in my case, your nieces and your nephews and your grandnephews? So I also promised you that I was going to share my predictions for real estate growth. So let's put Mastermind just aside for a moment. Um, this is what I say, is that we have emerging markets right here in Connecticut. Yes, there are emerging markets around the country. Yes, you can buy real estate for much less money than you can buy right here. And you should take advantage of that if that's what you want to do. But there's also emerging markets right here in Connecticut. So New Haven. I'm going to talk about New Haven for a minute. So University of New Haven is exploding. The Gateway Community College just built a beautiful building right downtown New Haven. Uh, Quinnipiac College just added some colleges because of the Health Care Act. They need a lot more, uh, you know, general physicians. All of that's exploding. The, uh, New Haven has the tightest uh, rental market in the country, followed by Hartford and then into East Hartford. I'm going to share something about that. I also say Stanford is, is, about to, is uh, an emerging market. And so is Bridgeport because they're finally getting steel point up and off the ground. So Bridgeport could be some pretty interesting opportunities right here in front of us. Here's the interesting thing about emerging markets. When Barb and I started 10, 15 years ago in Waterbury, we saw that there was, Waterbury was growing and increasing in value, and all the old-timers didn't know. We stole a ton of property back then because the landlords were sick and tired of being landlords, and they had no idea what was happening in the local market. What if you had access to demographic information, which I'm going to be getting for the mastermind group, that, that would tell you what, what are, what's going on in, right here in our area that you could take advantage of? So you might not have known this, but Pratt Whitney just signed an agreement for $500 million with the state of Connecticut, and it's including a new campus in East Hartford. Well, that means high-paying jobs, intelligent jobs, and all the connected small businesses and, and uh, and service workers that go along with that. 
Do I hear an, you know, a need for rental markets? I definitely think so. Uh, Sarah just told me that NBC is moving its campus to Stanford out of New York. Again, more high-paying jobs. And I just talked talk to you about um, universities being a growth market in Connecticut. In fact, a friend of mine is looking to buy a, a college here in Connecticut and develop a college, and, uh, and that will be in a whole new area that nobody knows about yet. All of this equals huge profits if you know how to take advantage of it. Now, no one person is going to know about all this stuff. No one person is going to have the right connections to the right people at the economic development uh, uh, departments or the contractors or the money people or the movers and shakers. That's why you mastermind. So, Joanne, I'm, uh, I'm going to turn this over to you for a minute because our mastermind thing also includes uh, being, able, being really effective at negotiations. And since the mastermind is going to happen at, at, your, uh, at this place that you just negotiated, I thought I'd just share this with you. So um, why don't uh-huh. you tell us about this? Do you want me to start from the beginning? Yes. Or, because sure. there are a lot of – to negotiate a deal that we just negotiated in Vermont and we rehabbed to some degree, not, nothing catastrophic, and to pull out a $300,000-plus cash flow in about three months, Certainly is one of the biggest deals that I've, certainly the biggest flip I've ever done. So you you bought this last summer, you fixed it up, you're keeping it for now, but you're saying that it's already worth three hundred twenty eight thousand dollars more than what you bought it for. Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. Yep. We had it appraised already because we wanted to know. We were estimating that the house was worth in the five fifty range. Mm-hmm. It came in at three. It came in at six fifty. So. Um, so that's stunning in itself. So, how, you know, a lot of this had to do with negotiation skills. But these are some of the lessons that you uh, talked about. So I'm going to put these all up here for you. You can talk about the ones you want to, and then you could save some for March 27th and 28th if you'd like. But go ahead. Okay. Well, well, the first one is to know your location. Know where you're buying. You know, I wouldn't know a whole lot about the city of Philadelphia or where to buy, okay, unless I actually live there. Well, the Vermont property, we've been in the area for 10 years. And because we're real estate investors, we don't ski every day while we're at Stratton. There are days that it's difficult to ski. It's raining. It's a weekend or a long weekend and we have our house. Hey, we're not driving back to Connecticut. We're up here. So we look at real estate. And each time we look at real estate, we try to meet as many new agents as possible. Because we wanted everybody up there, as many as possible, to know who we are and what we are looking for, and that on a moment's notice, we can close. So a couple of years ago, I met an REO agent. And through the REO agent, I kept in, con- in constant contact with him. I saw a couple of buildings with him. He knew who I was. He knew I was a serious player. So it's kind of getting your ducks lined up and ready so when the opportunity comes, you are ready. Now, fast forward, <clears throat> we attended a party across the street from our house that we have now, the new house. While we were there at this cocktail party, our neighbor from Norwalk, by the way, and most people from on our street are from Connecticut, which is a surprise because most people are from New Jersey. So we were surprised to hear all that. So at the function, at least five people came up to us and said, how did you get that house? <laughs> We've been trying to buy this house. So and so tried to buy this house. We couldn't find this. We couldn't find that. We couldn't do this. We couldn't do that. How did you end up? And, and this property's been empty for two years. How did you get it while none of us could? Well, I wasn't prepared to give them a whole seminar. I simply told them I had the best bid. Okay? But Mm -hmm. it was far more than that. And that's what people don't understand. They all think you're just lucky. Well, as far as I'm concerned, I just cashed in my lottery ticket. That's Mm -hmm. where my luck came in. All right? But I also do a lot of things in my office every single day. I, I, today I looked at two properties already, properties I'm thinking of flipping. I eat, walk, sleep, real estate. 
I didn't always. Okay? But mm-hmm. once I got the bug, I knew there was money and then their hills. Right. And I was motivated. And the motivation drove us to get our kids in private schools and to live in a home that we only dreamt of. And, and we did all of that within five years of starting. So I think you have to soak yourself up, show up everywhere. And we talk about this in the coaching class. And for those of you that are coaching students, you know that I talk a lot about 99% of life is just showing up. If I had not met AJ, if I didn't own a house in Vermont, if I wasn't out there looking every single day in Vermont, and, and by the way, the Vermont property came online, but I checked my computer every single day. And one of the keys to, one of the keys to this uh, you getting this property and and we'll uh, at the mastermind I hope that we'll uh, role play some of the negotiation skills that you have, but you had to negotiate with the REO agent to make sure that you were the winner winner, and most people Absolutely. don't know how to and most people don't know how to manage that relationship, so that you may got the inside scoop to make sure that you were the winning bidder. Absolutely, I was on the phone with the the agent four times the last day that the bank was accepting offers. I wanted to know on a moment's notice if anybody outbid me. And because I had a really good relationship with the agent, he promised he would call me. But I wasn't going to wait for his phone call. I was on the phone four times to make absolutely sure but if somebody outbid me, I'm ready to go up. So one I knew of the that, was worth it. Go ahead. Yeah, so one of the things that I that um, I hear a, com- a lot of complaints about is, oh, there's too much competition now. Um, I'm, I keep getting outbid, you know, and that kind of thing. And what they don't realize is that it has a lot to do with marketing, so the right people call you at the right time. Uh-huh. And also it has to do with, which I'm an expert at, and it's how you negotiate and negotiate and negotiate, and uh, and so and negotiation is probably just a weak, probably the weakest link for most investors, I would say. Um, not everybody, but for most people. And uh, and Donald Trump said it on those movies. He says it's an art, and that you really want to discover that art. So I, I have a feeling that we're going to spend a lot of time on this. So uh, so you guys, hopefully, you made some notes on this page. Okay, and then I'm going to go on to um, how can you take advantage of these opportunities? So this is what this is going to be about. So we're going to launch on March 27th to 28th. It's a Thursday and a Friday. You could arrive. We're going to be up at Joanne and Lou's Ski House, so you're going to get to see it. Here's some photos, by the way. Um, You're going to arrive Wednesday night, uh, optionally. We recommend that you might want to carpool with some other people that are masterminding so that and just start masterminding early. If you ski, you can ski Thursday morning. We're trying to get some good uh, deals on ski lifts if we can. Um, or you could join me, and we're going to go shopping because there's great outlet stores there. Um, and then you're going to stay it here. But we really want you to get away from your business, away from your family, and just really focus in on this. And most of us never take time off, so this is going to be the great opportunity. So it's March 27th to the 28th. We'll probably, my guess is we'll end on Friday, you know, late Friday afternoon. And I'm guessing you could stay that go home that night, or you could stay the next till the next morning, assuming that's okay with Joanne. This is what's going to happen during the mastermind. First of all, there's going to be a profit seat. This means that each person in the mastermind gets about 20 minutes to present your business. We're going to ask that you put to organize your thoughts by creating a, a PowerPoint. If you need help, we'll get somebody to help you with that. This is not supposed to be gorgeous. This is just to help you organize your thoughts. During this 20 minutes, you're going to share what's working with you. What are your resources? What are your strategies? Um, what are your uh, computer apps? What are your marketing? Whatever it is that's really doing, working for you, we want you to share that. And then we want you to share what your issues are. And we really want you to be honest here because we want you to have a breakthrough during this two-day process so that you go out over the next couple of months and totally shift your business. And if you don't share with us what's going on, we can't help you out. By the way, everybody in the group promises to keep this confidential. 
uh, because uh, that's very important. So, and if we don't trust that somebody's going to keep this confidential, we're not inviting them to be part of the mastermind, okay? Then, of course, there'll be time for round robins, you know, over dinner, at the fireplace, on the ski lift, where we'll share connections, strategies, resources, troubles, and more, right? So it's an opportunity to really network with each other and get to know each other really well in a whole different way. This, uh, and I can tell you I've been part of a mastermind since August uh, for, for what I do, and I tell you what, my income has soared just by being part of this mastermind and having access to the people I needed to have access to. Now, here's some cool things. We already have commitments from people to be here, and these are, uh, these are as, as I've said to you, that I've, those of you who have received the letter in the mail that I've sent to you, because of my connections with people and Joanne and my connections over the past ten and a half years with CT Rhea, many people I can just pick up the phone and say, hey, could you show up and uh, would you invest in the mastermind and would you share your wisdom as needed? So they are, these folks are here not to do a 90-minute presentation, not to sell you a home study course, but to share with you their uh, viewpoints, their insights, their resources, and their connections. And I'm really, really thrilled to tell you that, uh, first of all, I've got one guy, who, <clears throat> uh, in, uh, one guy who's a nationally known expert on short sale negotiations. He's probably negotiated more short sales than just about anybody out there. He has coached people across the country, and he uh, now considers himself a, 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 an expert in mindset shifting, Another, because most of us, that is what gets in our way. If we could just shift what goes on between our two ears, we'd be a lot more successful, right? So he's coming to this for both days. I just got, com- I just got confirmation on that. And then we have a woman who is brilliant at negotiating directly with the banks um, to do creative financing with bank note, buying the notes or getting financing done or getting owner financing and buying in emerging markets as well as buying large buildings primarily. So if you're into that, so I just got a commitment from her. I'm really excited about that. Um, we have uh, Lou, you know, Lou Brissett, who is an expert at renovating apartments for uh, running, renovating buildings for rentals and knows how to work with inspectors. And I, I've spent a lot of time with him, and every time I talk to him, he has some new story, some really creative, like he had a house, single-family house, and it was, the, it was a crawl space underneath, and it was totally damp. and was rotting out everything. And he told me exactly how he solved this issue. I would never have thought of it in a million years. So he's coming. And then Joanne, we've already talked about, is brilliant at negotiating owner finance deals and partnerships and private money deals. And so she's going to be there. And then I have one of the leading experts who's going to be there for one day. He's one of the leading experts on getting government funding. So you and I know we pay a lot of money in taxes, and we hear all the time that there's these grants out there or that there's these big projects out there, and somebody's getting that money. Well, he's an expert on uh, getting that money. He's an expert about creating nonprofits and using the relationship between nonprofits and for-profits to uh, anchor down these government funds so that we can take advantage of all the different uh, opportun- real economic opportunities because let's face it, a lot of the things that we're talking about are being funded with pr- public money, and he's going to be there. So if you want access to those kinds of people, and I call him up all the time. Uh, and then myself, I'm going to be there. I'm, I'm an expert in marketing. I study a lot about marketing. I could look, I, you know, that's how I've my, made my living for years and years and years. And so whatever marketing challenges you have, whether it's online or offline, I have access to the biggest experts in the country to make this happen for you. So that's just a few of the people that are going to be there. And um, so now who else is going to be there? So uh, uh, let me – so one thing is this. You have to have done at least five real estate transactions. And quite frankly, it would be great if you had done a whole lot more. We're actually looking for your expertise, and we're looking for your mindset. Some of you will apply, and we're going to direct you to the coaching program because that's where we feel you should start, and then come join us at the Mastermind in six months. But you have to have done at least five real estate transactions and or own at least 15 rental units and, um, or more, right? So we're looking for the, the best of the best so that we can all help each other out. The launch, like I said, is going to be March 27th and 28th. There are going to be three two-day masterminds a year with a bonus fourth one because I know not everybody can make all four. So three are required 
and then we'll have the four, you know, but there'll be four scheduled within the next 12 months. You'll have a monthly call one-on-one with a business strategist. It may be Joanne, it may be me, or maybe somebody else. It depends on what you need. You'll get a monthly book or CD from us. You know, Joanne and I are always reading, and we're always coming across great resources. So we want to share that with you. And then the Mastermind, whatever books or CDs that you recommend we participate with, that's what we want to do. And then you'll actually have, you'll have the contact information for all the people in the Mastermind group so that you can continue those relationships ongoingly throughout the year. So that's what the Titanium program is all about. So my question to you is, are you ready for breakthrough? Are you ready to mastermind your way out of your problems? Simply that. As Joe Polish, one of my mentors, says, everything can be solved with the right sales letter. Well, in this case, everything can be solved with a mastermind because there's a solution to every problem. We want the river of wealth to go your way. We want you to have continued success. We really, when I say add an extra six figures to your bottom line this year, I'm serious we can do this. As a group, not individually, but as a group, we can definitely help each other and build each other up to make this thing happen. So if you want to get involved, this is how you do it. You, I recommend you applying today because it is limited. Um, if you have not gotten an invitation in the mail, then send me an email. Just go to membership at CTRIA. I'll send you the invitation as well as the application. And then we're going to schedule a strategy session with Joanne or myself, right? And, uh, you know, and uh, if you uh, like that, then, uh, you know, so we can look and see. We want to know more about you. And we want to, as, as one person I was talking about, the mastermind, we don't want anybody brought down because somebody's not the right person for the group. So uh, we want to, so that's how you're going to apply for this. So, and then uh, my biggest question to you is, by the way, there's a money-back guarantee. So the money-back guarantee is you come for the two days. If you think it was a waste of time, we will write a check back to you right on the spot. Uh, but I am so committed to this. I have been, Joanne and I have been masterminding about this mastermind for at least a year, if not a year and a half, because I truly know that by, you know, you know, Joanne and Lou bought this house in Vermont, and they bought a two-family house this year because they've been inspired by hanging out with the coaching students. Am I right, Joanne? Absolutely. So I know that by us putting our heads together that we can really take uh, – in, in back in the, in the fall we said, okay, we're going to buy $40 million worth of real estate in the next two years. We want this to be the inner circle. If you want to be the, part of the inner circle for real estate, investing in real estate, being an entrepreneur around real estate in this area, in New England, into New York, wherever, then I invite you to participate with this. So we just have two questions for you. Just how much profit can you handle? And when do you want your fair share? So I will uh, open it up for questions if there is any questions. Um, yeah, the question is, what is the investment? We're going to send that out to you in the, uh, in the letter. Yes, there's an investment. It's a significant investment, but I also say you would get your, uh, you know, the investment is peanuts compared to what you can get, and it's also because you're part of c 2 It's a much smaller investment than you would make with any other mastermind of this kind anywhere in the country. So, and Sarah says, 2014. <laughs> um, oh, Gail wants to know, what were the two movies I mentioned? It, it, I, I don't remember the exact titles, but it was on H2, it's an, uh, and it was something like uh, Makers of America, and it was talking about all the industrialists from the turn of the century. And great. All right, good. Oh, and, and Sarah had earlier said, you know, this time period reminds me of the 24-hour hackathons at Facebook and Google, massive action. Let me see, what is this? Oh, Men Who Built America. Thank you. It's called Men Who Built America. Yeah, if you can get those, I would recommend it. Um, Sarah said, uh, massive action and great ideas implemented immediately. So glad you're doing this. Me too. I am so excited that we're holding this mastermind. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think we're going to uncover a lot of opportunities. I think we're going to make a lot of money. I think we're going to have more time than we've ever had to enjoy life. And, uh, and we're going to be the inner circle. So I really hope that you uh, request that invitation, that you send out that application. We want to get back to you within 48 hours. Please don't wait till the last moment because, uh, because we will fill up. You know, there's only so much room at Joanne and Lou's house, and uh, we want you to participate there. So <laughs> I like that. Joanne, do you have any uh, final words that you would like to say here? 
Oh, the skiing is great right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> if you're not into skiing, there's an awful lot of great shops and great restaurants in Manchester. Uh, Stratton's got some great shops. It's just a great getaway. All for me, it's two hours and fifteen minutes. Uh, I mean, where can you go in two hours and fifteen minutes and not be t- stuck at the airport with hassles of flying? Uh, yeah. Ninety-one. Route 30 in Vermont, and it's it's just home free. It's absolutely gorgeous, by the way. And I just you wake up say, every morning to an unbelievable view of the mountain, like you've never seen before. That is for sure. It oh, is. That is yeah. You deserve it. This, this is what I want to say. You deserve this. You know, we uh, Joanne and Lou have invited a few special people up to their house to hang out with them, and uh, and when you're up there, you feel like you're one of the privileged few. You really deserve this. You really deserve to be at the beginning of the rest of your life and the beginning of the rest of our lives. I really, truly believe that the Titanium Mastermind, we're going to look back on this 10 years from now, and this was the beginning of a major shift in what each and every one of us could participate with and take advantage of in the real estate market. So so uh, with that, I thank you very much. If Again, if you have any questions at all, you can send an email to me at uh, at mas- uh, membership at ctria.com, membership at ctria.com. You can send me, uh, request the invitation, uh, and you can, s- and then we'll schedule a strategy session. Jo- uh, Nicole will, will contact you to schedule that time for you. All right, everybody, have a great night, and thanks for joining us. We look forward to hearing back from you. <laughs>